we all have a story. I wonder what yours is. I always believed that I could do absolutely anything I set my mind to. Well, maybe not always. When I was a child, I thought I'd be a complete and utter failure. But over the years, I began to realise that through being determined, I could achieve some pretty great things. I think the turning point for me was when I got pretty good grades in my GCSEs. Before then, I wasn't all that academic. And my life began to change. And I realised that with a bit of hard work, a bit of focus and dedication, I could get things done. And over the years, I also realised that being kind and honest and generous made lots of friends. And so I learned from my experiences that by being a good person, I would actually attract other good people who would want to spend time with me. When I say being a good person, I bet you're wondering what I mean by this. For me, it's about leading by example. It's about being positive and kind, always going out of my way to do things for people. For instance, if I'm on the tube, I always look around to see if there's someone who needs a seat more than I do. And it's just something that's inherent within me. And it's little things like this that make a massive difference. So here's my story. I have challenges from time to time, but I learn a great deal from them. Life is not always smooth sailing. But the greater the challenge, usually the greater the breakdown, and then the more powerful and inspiring and exhilarating the breakthrough. I speak in metaphors here because I have too many stories to share and not enough time. I have so many experiences of potentially negative things that have occurred that have brought the most amazing experiences. If I go back a year, a friend of mine who I was living with, her boyfriend came over from Panama and they decided to move in together. So I found myself with no housemate. Now that could have been a very bad thing, but not for me, because I knew I had faith that something positive would come out of this. And of course, my faith was rewarded with an offer from a very kind friend to move into his beautiful house in Wimbledon. We fast track about another eight or nine months from then and I find myself confronted with the fact that this friend was going to sell his house. Again, I had faith that something good would be around the corner. And guess what? It was. A beautiful flat a few streets away. And here I find myself living on my own in a lovely flat in a lovely area just by Wimbledon Common and I'm happier than I've ever been because this is my story. My story is that good things come out of every challenge and I've decided not to see things as good or bad, but just as is. Because when I see things this way, I'm rewarded with a much better reality. Through being positive and through having faith, my story is a lot more exciting, I think, than it would be if I were negative and expected the worst. Because I believe that good things come to those who expect them. It's like, for instance, if you weren't expecting a visitor, you might go out, and therefore you might not be there when they arrived. It's similar to that. I think there are a lot of things in life that are hard to explain, and I don't try to explain them. All I can tell you is that this way of life works for me. If I thought in times of hardship that things would never get better, 
probably wouldn't be here right now. I probably would have given up a long time ago. But through having faith, I've kept going. And through doing this, I've managed to help thousands of people to become stronger and more confident, to become better communicators. And my aim is to help even more people over the next years. What I would like even more than that is to inspire other people to be more positive. For them in turn to inspire other people. And in this way, guess what? We can change the way the world communicates.